we know that processes can send read write requests to the hard disk and how those requests are handled by the controller or how those requests are scheduled we are discussing the algorithms for that so in the previous video we had discussed the fcfs disk scheduling algorithm and in this video we are going to discuss the scan algorithm in scan the disk arm it starts at one end of the disk so let's say it is starting at this end of the disk so it will move towards the other end that means it will move inwards if it is starting from outwards and if it is starting from inwards then it will start moving out so it will move towards the other end and as it is moving at each cylinder or each track that it encounters it will service any request if it is there that means if it started at track 0 and if it is moving inwards and let's say there was a request at track 5 so nothing will happen at track 1 2 3 4 but at 5 whatever request was there it was serviced then the next track would be considered on the way towards the inner side of the disk so all the service requests at each cylinder will be taken care of until it gets to the other end of the disk and at the other end now the direction of the head movement is reversed so once it has reached this end now it will start moving outwards in the opposite direction and then again it will keep on servicing request as and when it encounters for any track which it comes across so this way the head is continuously scanning back and forth across the disk so it is starting from one end coming towards the other end then going back servicing all the requests in between then coming back again and so on so continuously it is scanning back and forth you can uh, compare this with the fcfs fcfs was first come first serve that whichever request has come first that will be serviced first so in that case the head was moving all over the place depending upon the order in which the requests had come so if the request arrives in queue just in front of the head let's say the head is currently over here and if a request has come which is just in front of the head that means just on the uh, on a track which is closer to the head in the direction of movement then it is going to be serviced almost immediately and if there is a request which is arriving just behind the head so let's say the head was here and now a request has come which is for a track which is behind the head then this request will have to wait until the arm moves to the end of the disk reverses the direction and then services this request so again let's take the example that we took for fcfs so the requests are for cylinders 98 183 37 and so on we are assuming that the disk head is at initially cylinder 53 and it is moving towards zero so that means we are assuming that currently the head is at this cylinder 53 and it is moving towards zero that means in this direction so how will the requests be serviced since it is at 53 and moving towards zero that means the next track that is going to come across is if you look at all the requests over here currently it is at 53 that means the next request as it moves from 53 to 0 will be this 37 so if it is at 53 that means it will move to 37 and service that the distance traveled is 53 minus 7 uh, 37 which is 16 cylinders then 37 again it is moving towards 0 so the next cylinder it will come across is going to be 14 so from 37 to 14 which is a distance of 23 cylinders 
then 14 to 0 because it has to move towards 0. There is no request at 0 but now this is the place where it is going to reverse its direction. So once it has reached 0, now it is going to reverse the direction and start moving towards the center of the disk. So once it has reached 0, now if it starts moving towards the center, then you can see that the next request would be 65. So that means 65 cylinders, then next is 67 over here. So from 65 to 67, which is 2 cylinders, then next is 98, which is 31 cylinders, then 122, then 124. So it keeps on moving and then lastly 183 and if there are any more cylinders to reach the center of the disk it will cover those before it will reverse again. So now if you consider these requests only then the distance traveled the total head movement to cater to all these requests is 236 cylinders. Compare this to the FCFS algorithm which required a movement of around 600 cylinders and the head was continuously moving back and forth the disk to cater to the requests in the order in which they were arriving. You can see that the scan is a much more efficient way of dealing with requests and it is very popular popular in disk scheduling algorithms.